Hey everyone, Brandon here with Galway Precision. Today we're going to go over the installation of our newest extension. That's the Plus 3 for the Taurus G3 series of pistols. Before we get started on anything else, because I know the first question is going to be, will it fit the G3C mags? The answer is no. The G3C uses the exact same magazines as the G2C. They are limited to 12 rounds on purpose. The locking plates on the bottom of the magazine fold inward instead of outward. So if they fold in like this, rounds can't go past these things. So no, <clears throat> will not fit the G3C. There will never be an extension for the G3C, G2C because of that design of the mags. That being said, the 15 and 17 round mags from the G3 do fit both those pistols, and this plus three fits the 17 and 15 rounds for the G3. So, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, uh, tools you're gonna need, you need a straight pick or a little bit of an angle pick like this, like I've got, but not your shepherd's crook, you want, you want something with a straight end. Pardon me. And a 332nd inch Allen wrench. Okay, so let's go ahead and lock and clear. We're visually and physically empty. We're going to drop the mag, set the pistol off to the side. All right, so we're going to take our sleeve off. This is a 17 round mag, by the way. We're going to take our 332nd and push in on the locking plate and push the base pad off. Notice I'm keeping my thumb over it. I'm going to show you why. If you don't have your thumb over that, that is going to fly out just like that. This is a very serious spring. Both the 15 and the 17 round have serious mag springs in them. That's why they feed so well. So keep your thumb over that so that doesn't happen and you take your eyeball off. All right. So now we're going to take our locking piece off the extension. Once I figure out how to use an Allen wrench, there we go. Now what I like to do personally... What I've done to my G3 mags is I don't take the screw completely out. You want a couple threads hanging out like that so that when you go to mate it on there, it's easier to get it in there. Okay. And take and we're going to compress our locking plate, making sure that this square piece lines up with the square cut in the front. Since this comes on from the back, your locking plate may not line up immediately. So the easiest way to get it to do that, take your straight pick, get it in the nubby pull it forward because until we put the locking piece on you can't really smack the mag around like we normally would where we pop it on the front and put the mag <coughs> correction the locking plate in place can't really do that all right so hence the pick for this one then we're going to take our locking piece and put it on and we're going to tighten it down now obviously you can't just give it two turns and go it's good you want it to fit flush, and it only needs to be hand tightened. You don't want to strip the threads and the material, because if you do, then it'll just spin, 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 and then probably come apart while shooting. So, really wish I had a ball end right about now, but we can cheat it and pretend and just put the long end in and get a half turn all the way around. There we go. And you'll feel it once it bites in to the material and just tighten it down until it gets nice and flush with the front of the extension. You got big sausage fingers and big hands like I do. This is super fun. All right. And so once you start feeling resistance right about there, give it one more quarter turn. All right. So we got our extension on. It's on the 17 rounder. So let's load up. Got some Tula here. I sell it for $5 a round. What do you guys say? All right. Let's see how many boo it's we get. Let's see. Two, four, more. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Alright, so one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20 with enough room on a closed side. Oh, I forgot to put my, hold on. Don't forget to put your grip sleeve back on your 17. Yes, the sleeve will fit. Closes on a locked and closed slide. We cleared it before. We're not going to load, but you get the idea. Sits nice and tight, drops out just as easy all right so there you go guys that's it um that's the plus three extension for the taurus g3 uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to email me at tech that's tango check tango checko tango echo charlie hotel i'm having a hard time speaking today <laughs> be sure to follow us on social media to stay up to date on everything Galloway Precision, links will be down in the description below. And as always, and seriously, I'll sell you this Tula for $5 a round. What do you say? I'm lying. I won't do that because I need it for these videos. <laughs> it's the only cheap ammo I've got left. Uh, but anyhow, be sure to follow us uh, on social media to stay up to date on everything Galloway Precision. And as always, be safe. Be accurate, and God bless. All right, so I'm filming. That's what I was trying to tell you.